With your first news at 5 Sports, here's Jeff Roberts. Bismarck State Baseball took the second step of the junior college postseason this morning, beginning the region tournament out in Montana. The Mystics matched up with Dakota Tech. Bismarck State will go on to win the first game 9-4 over the Blue Knights. Bryce Libke, he gets the win after pitching seven quality innings. The Mystics will play the host tonight. First pitch in Miles City is at 7 Central Time. We'll have the result of that one tonight on First News at 10. This weekend was Tampa Bay's rookie camp, meaning North Dakota's Cody Malk was in the black and red for the first time down in the Sunshine State. Mauk was the only player from the state of North Dakota drafted this year and the highest drafted lineman in North Dakota State Bison history. At a glance, Cody was quite possibly the easiest to notice. The bright red hair was on full display for much of the weekend. If anyone from a shampoo company is watching this newscast, I am begging you to get this man a sponsorship. He's become known for his unconventional bright smile, but this weekend was his first opportunity to show Bucks fans that he was drafted because he's a football nerd. I'm kind of feeling a lot right now. You know, first day, uh, I guess second day technically, but fun to finally get into it, you know, get into the playbook a little bit. I was kind of itching to, to get the playbook a little bit early, wanted to get in there, but happy to learn it this way too. You can actually learn from the coaches the way they want to teach it. So really happy to be in the classroom. You know, we just got our first walkthrough, able to go out there and move around just a little bit. Just, uh, yeah, really, really excited. The next team organized training for Malk will be voluntary OTA practices beginning the 23rd of May. Mandatory minicamp is the third week in June with training camp beginning in July. Of all the places Cody Malk could have played his first regular season game, the NFL schedulers wanted to see the entire Hankinson community and NDSU football program make the trek to Minneapolis. That's where Malk is beginning his career. The NFL released the full schedule for each team this past Thursday, and Tampa Bay is beginning the 2023 season in Minneapolis. The game is September 10th. Kickoff is at noon. Yesterday was one of the most fun Minnesota Twins games of the year so far. The offense hit five home runs and eight extra base hits in an 11-run outburst. Joe Ryan didn't allow a run in six innings of work, striking out 10. Today, Minnesota looked to keep it rolling. Minnesota could end their six-game homestand with four wins with one today. First inning, first run of the game for Minnesota, Carlos Correa. He yanks one into the left field corner. Another extra base hit scores Alex Kirilov from first to go up a run. The third inning was where it got really messy. It starts with Trevor Larnick. He launches a home run to right center field, a three-run shot that puts Minnesota in front by four. They kept it rolling in the same inning. Nick Gordon, he slaps a pitch to deep center field. It's going to bang off the wall. That is going to be a stand-up double that scores Kyle Farmer. It's 5-0. More from the same third inning. Christian Vasquez smacks a base hit, brings Gordon in to score for Minnesota's fifth run of the third inning. The lead was up to six. The cherry on top of the home half of the third, Joey Gallo, another home run. He launches his ninth homer of the year. It was 8 to nothing. Now an 8-3 game in the seventh. Twins get back in the scoring column. Farmer, he gets a ball to squirt through into center field. The lead is back to six runs. Minnesota would add seven more in the final two innings to win the series. They scored 29 runs this weekend, the most ever in a three-game series in team history. They've now won four straight series at Target Field. We'll be right back.